Crystals are a phenomenal source of energies. When you work with your crystals in the right manner, it can help you to achieve your goals. It can help to bring a physical healing. It can help to bring a transformation in our thought processes. It can help us to achieve beautiful attributes in life right from attracting certain aspects of relationship, finances, the kind of energies that we are working with and it could be a beautiful device to work when it comes to goal setting. Hi, my name is Saurabh, co-founder of Cold Lava Studio and today I am going to give you a simple four-step procedure how to work with your crystals and get maximum benefits with it. The first step before you start working with your crystals is having a strong goal, a purpose. Why are you wearing your crystals? What changes you're looking in your life? What are the specific attributes you're trying to change in your life? You need to define that first. And then select the right kind of crystals which will help you to achieve those particular attributes. And in that particular case, you can consult somebody who is a crystal expert, probably go online, research a little bit more on crystals that will help you to attract those specific attributes and help you to achieve those goals. Now, once you have a definite goal, once you have a definite purpose for which you are wearing the crystals and you have identified which crystals you want to wear, the second step is when you actually start wearing your crystals, working with your crystals using this two-step formula. Step number one is using affirmations and step number two is using visualizations. Now, what are affirmations? Affirmations help us to change the subconscious programming of your mind. So affirmations is nothing but simply giving words to your targets in simple present tense. For instance, if I wear this particular crystal for a specific purpose, for instance, a red tiger stone is associated with bringing courage, confidence, transforming any kind of emotional trauma into a strength. Through this particular crystal, I invite the energy of courage, vigor. Through these crystals, I release any past fears, any unwanted energies and thoughts I may be holding in my mind and my body. And through these crystals, I attract the energy of courage and confidence to stand for myself. This is my affirmation. Create your own affirmation specific to your goals, specific to your targets. Step number two, visualization. Visualization is a process where you print the picture of what you want to achieve, a picture of what events you want to take place in the future. For example, if my goal is to purchase a car, I visualize myself having the car that I want. What color of the car I have. I'm traveling using that particular car. I'm doing my chores using that particular vehicle. I'm having a good time with my family with the car. I'm going to different destinations. I'm going on holidays using that particular car. I visualize that. I visualize myself entering and exiting the car day in and day out. I visualize where my car is parked. I visualize all of the things that I'm going to do with the car as if I already have it. For instance, if you're looking for a specific job or a specific kind of career, visualize yourself already having one. Visualize yourself being in a kind of office that you want to be, doing the kind of work that you want to do. That is the strongest way of kicking law of attraction. Below in the link, I have given links for both using affirmations and using visualizations in details. Please have a look at that. Now, the third step while working with your crystals, when you, once you have identified the purpose, once you have used your affirmations and once you have used your visualization is aligning the three basic attributes which make our reality. Step number three to achieving your goals right when working with crystals is aligning the three basic pillars, your thoughts, your words and your actions. When your thoughts, your words and your actions are aligned to each other, nothing can stop you from achieving your targets and nothing can be a barrier. And that is when you will be able to harbor all the supporting crystal energy and all the supporting energies from the law of attraction and manifest your reality. Often, we have big thoughts. For example, my thoughts, I want to purchase a house. But when I'm talking about it to my friends, I'm like, I want to buy a house, but I'm not sure whether I will be able to. I want to go on a holiday, but I'm not sure whether I have the budget. My thoughts are of buying a house. My thoughts are of going on a holiday. What are my words? I'm not sure. 
eventually it's our words that create the reality whatever we say manifests in our life so be very careful what we say continuously bickering about our life continuously complaining or continuously saying that things don't work out for me this thing becomes our reality hence choose your words very very wisely if you want to work out say I am capable of working out. I am going to create this particular discipline for me and I have absolutely everything right for me in my favor that I can pick up a regime and I can keep up to the regime. If you want to make a purchase of a house or something, put that into your affirmation that I am capable of purchasing a house and let the universe support me in all my decisions in a way that I am able to accumulate enough resources to purchasing that thing. And third is your action. A lot of times we keep waiting for things to happen to us. A lot of time people come to us, I'm waiting for a government job, I'm doing everything right, nothing is happening. I'm waiting for uh, purchasing a house, but everything is right, nothing is happening for me. I'm waiting for a new job to come to me and nothing is happening. The question is, what are you doing about it? Your actions are most important. If you are trying to manifest a new job or a particular kind of business, you need to go out, read about it, put your CV 10 places, talk to people about it, research as much as you can, try and see what is a hindrance and barrier, is your skill set a limitation, is your language a limitation, is something that you can do to enhance your skill set to ace that particular position. Think about it from everything, do everything right in your stride and things have to work for you. Hence, this third step of aligning your thoughts, your words and action is the most important step and that is how you will be able to harbor the beautiful energy and manifest your goals. Fourth very important step to understand is the law of the universe. You do what you do and you get what you get. If you've been doing certain thing in a particular way and it has resulted in your current situation, doing the same thing in future is not going to change it. Hence, changing your approach is the most important step in manifesting your goals. A lot of times we get caught in a pattern. We get caught in a loop of events that keep on happening. So we end up meeting similar kind of people, similar kind of events keep on repeating with us. We end up having same kind of relationships with people. We have a lot of situations such as jobs or any opportunities that come to us end up in the same thing. And this exactly is the time we need to reflect back and see how can I do things differently and what can I do things differently over here? How can I change what I'm doing, what I'm investing into this thing? So the results which are coming back to me, which will change. When you're able to put all of these four perspectives together and work with your crystals one having your goal second using your affirmations and visualization third aligning your thoughts your words and your actions together and step number four is trying to find out what is holding you back working with your deadlocks and changing the pattern and changing the course of your actions it will absolutely change everything for you and you will be able to achieve phenomenal results from it and no goals can be a limitation to that Hope this information works. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the section or send us a message on the WhatsApp number down below and I'll be personally happy to take those questions and guide you through. Thank you so much. Sending you a lot of love and light. Saurabh.